Hi everybody. It's Coffee Stitcher with Stitchy Box. Yay! Stitchy Box. Um finally came. Um like a week after everybody else did, but you know what? That's okay. Because it's here. Um hope everybody just had a good couple of days. Um do you like to in? Please, feel free. I've got a very large bag here. You sure? Okay. Alright, so. Cold open. My dad is outside mowing the lawn, so unless the internet flips out, you'll actually get this video when I open it. So the first thing is, there's a new logo. I really like it. This is an awesome logo, Liz. No, thank you. I don't know if she's actually going to say thank you, to, or you're welcome, or thank you or something, but I just said it. I know, I'm trying this whole interactive thing out, like I'm Dorothy Explorer or something, so we'll, we'll I don't know, this may be the last time I try that. The m, &M thing was purposely to, to bother Bloomer Stitcher. So, alright, so here is the first, ooh! Oh, is this a stick? It's a sticker! There's a Stitchy Box sticker. This is awesome. Alright. Uh, inside is the usual little note. We hope you enjoy our first summer-themed box, named Camping at Midnight. Think starry skies overhead while you sit by the campfire eating delicious s'mores. The Camping at Midnight supply shop will open on June 10th. Save 10% on additional CAM fabric threads and embellishments with this code. Unfortunately, some of the threads for this month's box did not arrive in time, so they will be sent to you in a second shipment in five to seven days. So, that's pretty exciting. Um, so we'll have a second one. And it'll probably come, like, tomorrow, with my luck. So, inside, we've got... <gasps> another thread keep! And it's an owl. Oh, wait, I guess I should probably take him out of the bag so you can see him. I am all for owls and thread keeps. So, look! A thread keep! Eee! You can never have too many thread keeps. Um, alright. There's some classic color works. Lunar Eclipse, and this is Five Yard Cotton. Um, some DMC 4140. This is one of their, um, other rounds of variated. It's sort of a, of a red and pink. It's a little bit like red clay from Gloriana color-wise. Um, you get a little cone of what looks like twine. I like twine. I think that's what this is. Um, oh, a little bamboo sachet pouch. Ooh, sachet pouch. Um, or not bamboo, burlap. Uh, some sparkly burlap, which I guess is going to be for finishing. And, ooh, 32 count opal linen midnight tryst from hand dyed uh, fabrics by Steph. Um, I've never used an opalescent before. Oh, this is very pretty. This would actually be really perfect for some Halloween things or underwater things. Um, it's too small for my chatelaine, but I don't think I would want to do a chatelaine on an opalescent, to be honest. Um, but I've never used an opalescent, so this will be interesting. Um, Definitely a Halloween small should go on this. But, ooh, very nice. I've never... Yeah! So I now have my first ever Fabric by Steph and my first ever Opalescent. Um, so that is the Stitchy Box part the first. So I'll be back whenever part the second comes out. Um, again, no real whip updates. Uh... I've got a little bit of stuff done on some things, but really not enough that you would be able to tell. So, and this was really more of a unboxing video anyways. So, um, that's everything on my end. I hope everyone's having a great rest of their week, and I will see y'all soon.